let me say that at the time that this model was built, pr the prison system was still doing their own construction. And the new construction office was that little flat roof building in the very back in this rub. And some inmates that worked down there built this. And I can tell you that it is very, very accurate. That's a textile mill. Now the Walls Union has had a textile mill since 1856. Oh, let me tell you this. I just thought, I just thought about this. Think about this. Not in this building, but in the textile mill at the walls. At one time, they made cloth that was used to make the Texas Confederate soldier uniforms. The people, the people in these pictures facing us have all had a close family member who was put to death in the execution chamber at the walls. The people on the other side, they have had a close family member who was murdered and the person who murdered their family member has been put to death. This, this area here is all about the prison rodeo. The prison system had uh, an inmate rodeo from 1931 through 1986. Now this stuff here is from the rodeo. They had two chariots and they had a chariot race every Sunday. And for about the last 30 years of the rodeo, they had outside entertainment come in at what they call halftime. And these are just a handful of them. Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, uh, Steve McQueen, Reba McIntyre, there's John Wayne. This is uh, Old Sparky, the Texas electric chair uh, between 1924 and 1964. 361 men died in that chair. And this setting that we have it in is very much looks like the setting it was in when it was actually in use at the walls and there's a picture over on that panel of it at the walls. This display here is just about the different kinds of executions the state of Texas has done. Now the prison system never did hangings. That was prior to when the prison system actually took it over. This is a display that I said earlier that most people spend a lot of time looking at. This is different sort of weapons and whatever that they build that they're not supposed to have. The Ellis unit used to make gavels, and they make a lot nicer gavels than this. And that metal part, which you can see how pointed it is, and I'm telling you, it is so strong that if you were to stab somebody and it hit a bone, I will assure you it will not bend. I don't have to worry about people stabbing each other. I certainly don't have to worry about escapes. And my staff really likes being here. They all get along good. It's just the most neat place in the world for me to be.